Hello friends, welcome back and today we will check uh, how to set up a Orient DB in our local with the help of Docker container. As usually, um, Orient DB is a multi-module open source NoSQL DBMS that combines both craps and the documents uh, uh, NoSQL features. So if you look at the databases like uh, MongoDB or the Neo4j, like Neo4j is specific to your crap database modeling. Whereas MongoDB is allowing only the document store okay there are different different types of a nosql database maybe you are aware like it's column oriented document key value pair graph database so this orient db is providing multi-module open source nosql database multi-models it is supporting multi-models such as graphs and documents it combines both the pictures so in one single database you you can achieve both the things so that's that's the beauty about the orient db if you're looking for some some kind of a solution then this is the best suitable so it, it is available in two edition one is the community edition and, and another one is the uh, enterprise edition community community edition which is open source then let's go and jump on to the our steps how to set up so first is that you have to pull the docker image like a docker pull or ndb and as usually if you are not providing any tag it's it usually take the latest tag okay and then we will run the container so as uh, to save our time i have pulled already the image in my local okay this is the orient db image with the latest tag so let me just clean let's run it so if you look we have uh, two port map here okay docker run in a detached mode okay name of the container then port this two port map so one port we need uh, map for the R studio and one port uh, just the port open for the console and to the like other stuff and here in the environment variable i have mentioned the password as a root password but there are other parameters as well we can set so for for the time being we will just run the container and create it so meanwhile we'll go and visit our official website by the orient db if you look here on the docker hub they have provided the uh, different different parameters usage if you look here you, you can attach the persistent volume config path database path backup path if you're actually deploying this let's say on your cloud environment or any your uh, kubernetes cluster okay that time you can try out so running a tools uh, because the thing is that it's uh, the current image is full-fledged installation if you don't want to, to and if you want to optimize it then you can remove few things like if you don't want to open the console then remove it Okay, so this kind of a parameters they have provided or this kind of a customization you can achieve or you can override the parameters as well. If you look, go to the orientdb.org, you can find the different, different useful links like get started, documentation, full-fledged, the cloud, release notes. And the good thing is that now orientdb is um, backed by the SAP, so we will find more changes. And in the university, you can do the trainings and certification as well, certification. If you look, it's providing two editors like a graph editor, studio query, where you can fire the query. We will check that one as well. So let's go and check if it is up. Uh, we'll verify using our Docker logs. Maybe. Yeah, that's almost started. So studio is there. If you look, follow the link, open this link. Able to see or not okay it will take some time meanwhile we can open this in our lo as local host as well local host. 2480 correct yeah so if you uh, need to redirect to the uh, studio then go and hit this url 2480 so here if you have existing database you can put user name and password and database name if you not then create a new database let's say demo docker root password if you want to provide additional admin user as well get the data so there are some nice content zero one okay i think it seems it's don't like try Okay. 
See the logs, if it is there, then still not there, will go. Okay. So next part is running. So, but let's see. Now, what we'll do, we'll try to first run through the command. PNDB. Okay. Then we have to go to start the console. Browse to the ODNDB section. Okay. Run the console.sh. If you look here, it started. Okay. Help. Let's say I wanted to out the select query help. To find out, like select list where some table. I just check select star. It's not working. So, first I have to connect to the database. Okay. To connect to the database, let's put connected not working maybe something different state something connection not TV connection happen password see first the list of databases if you have anything yeah then verify these things, okay. So, not sure, but I'll try. Something parameter I need to check something. It seems WD. Ah, okay. It's because of the password which I have missed. Guys, so here I have mentioned the root password. There I am providing the different password. That's why. So this is the access of a studio. If you look, uh, you can browse here. You can run the queries. Uh, you can check your schema. Okay, and the system classes are there. You can find out. Okay. Uh, then you can create your own schema as well. You can save colors, configurations, indexes, rebuild indexes, everything. Security as well. If you have created any new tool, it will show like admin. You can provide the as well. Fill it as well. Uh, if you look here, you can provide the granular access. Uh, security we are going through graph uh, which is like a neo 4 j graph if you're aware nodes and ages uh, which is not similar but it's it will it's kind of a similar feature then functions you can define function and when you can pass different parameters which is more like a your stored proc if you have the very good background of the sql and you can check your databases okay structure configurations even you can support those databases so that's it. I, I hope uh, this is the useful for you. Uh, and uh, please let me know in the comment section how uh, you're managing the Orient with multi model. Thank you.